The most interesting part right now is that uh, we are building one of the first LNG uh, fueled ships in this class, a dry cargo vessel, which has never been built before. We have been working in this project since uh, last year, which is 2013. The vessel should be delivered before the end of 2015. The biggest benefit of this project will be the environmental benefit. The sulfur emissions is reduced to uh, almost zero and also the particles. And for the NOx we also reduce them quite heavily. So uh, it's a very good environmental benefit for running on LNG. There is a lot of things to, to consider. Uh, the, the big difference is that the fuel is um, cryo, cryo state. That means it's 162 degrees minus, which means we can't have any leaks because if you get that on uh, normal steel, the steel will break. So there's a lot of other things to, to think about, but uh, we, we believe we can handle it. It's really nice to see everybody working in the same direction to try to solve the issues that we have. And we have uh, been able to solve them almost all together with the good cooperation with Lloyd's Register and Feathersmith. As well as uh, support by SSPA and also the Swedish Ship Owners Association. Well, in five years' time, I believe that we have more projects like this. We will also have a more developed infrastructure for LNG. So in the future, I think the LNG will be a quite normal way of powering your ships. <laughs>